Okay, today we're going to put together the 12 uh, inch wheel, uh, 1,090 pound trailer from Harbor Freight. We'll see how it goes. Well, the rest of the stock assembly went well according to their instructions. Actually, more of it came pre-assembled than the instructions provided, so that was a big plus. At this point, I've installed the suggested three-quarter inch plywood for the deck and noticed I, I pre-painted it before uh, I put it on. There. And uh, so since the trailer is short, I wanted a rack to be able to haul longer stock on the trailer. I had to customize the corner cups seen here and bolt them onto the trailer. The rack material is definitely overkill, but it came for free from a neighbor who was getting rid of some scrap, so I was glad to oblige. The expanse at the top of the rack is 49 inches, very much on purpose because it will enable me to carry full 4x8 sheets of plywood or even 8 10-foot boards from the local yard. And I don't mean for this to be a Harbor Freight commercial, but I'll have to admit I happen to use their handheld Bauer bandsaw and their Chicago Electric MIG welder. Made it really handy. Here you can see the hooks I installed to strap things down on the trailer. I wanted to be able to drive my, actually my wife's small zero turn onto the trailer for easy transport. So I fashioned a folding ramp. But because of the way it had to fold in order to be self-supporting, I just couldn't get past the bulk of it for this little trailer, so I scrapped that idea and decided to go with a no-fold design uh, with uh, supporting struts, which I did have to purchase. Notice the fancy sideboards. Again, I used stuff I already had. These are uh, extra fencing boards I had from a previous project also installed a manual tongue jack that originally came off of our camper. I'm just lazy enough that I don't want to have to crank the jack, so I welded a spare driver bit to the shaft to be able to use a drill to raise and lower it with a non-impact drill. As you can see, the smallest big dog zero turn will fit. If I were to transport it, which I have not yet, but if I were, I'd raise the back end up uh, to be level when the trailer's sitting level. 
by adjusting the back support struts that are held on with cotter pins, so they're super easy to adjust. Of course, an appropriate amount of straps would be involved in that situation as well. And here's a shot of the little trailer with a long load on it, all strapped down and ready to go. I hope this video has inspired you to trick out your trailer uh, even better. Good luck to you, and take care. Just as a side note, I just learned that my grandchildren, who are spread out between Massachusetts and Alaska, actually watch these videos. This is me a lot. Love you guys very much. As for everybody else, thanks for watching. And like everybody else says, if you would subscribe and put a like, comment, I appreciate that. I get back with any comments just as soon as I can. Thank you.